interrupt this video with breaking news. The professor is waiting for you to like and subscribe to Movie Community College. The professor would also like to declare that the Super Kings are the best team. How's the Josh? Now back to the video. Well, hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I hope all is well. Hey, um, boy, oh boy, things are really cooking here for us. Uh, the great Kali comes out and endorses us uh, on the festival of Parat wants me to speak when they come to America and there's another um, there's another uh, organization that has reached out to us it is um, let me go ahead and pull up this email here it is where are you where are you it is the uh, India Foundation power so uh, we get a lot so uh, we get a lot coming with you and, and we're, we you know, sometimes we get comments from our friends saying, why don't you have more views and more subscribers? Well, I think it's a couple things. Uh, number one, I think as soon as you introduce me into any mix, um, I'm, I'm a polarizing per person. I know that. People either love me or they hate me, right? It's been the story of my life. I'm just polarizing, and I'm okay with that. Um, the other thing is uh, we do videos like this. We're not, we're, listen, I'm too old, man, to sit around and just feed you, you know, a big bowl of BS. I'm too old for that, dude. Like, let's just be real, right? Let's, just, let's be real. So this is negotiate, negativism, eh. sorry, my dyslexia is flittering up terribly today. Negativism in India, hiding the true history of Islam. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> The atrocities committed by the Nazis on the Jews and the Gypsies during the Second World War are a recorded fact of history. Yet there are people living in denial of this bitter truth. They are called negationists. Being a negationist in Europe is not easy. Over and above, extracting a heavy cost on one's social reputation, in certain countries like Germany, it is downright illegal to deny the Holocaust. The norm is very different in India. In fact, it is just the opposite. The negationists of India are not just tolerated, they are effectively celebrated. For they are rewarded by the establishment and often placed oh, in the top echelons of is. power. Thus, place they go about the task of rewriting history and conjuring up centuries of Hindu-Muslim unity out of thin air. Indeed, the Muslim conquests down to the 16th century were for the Hindus a pure struggle of life and death. Entire cities were burned down, the populations massacred, hundreds of thousands killed in every campaign, and similar numbers deported as slaves. Every new invader made of the literally his hills of Hindu skulls. The Bahmani sultans made it a rule to kill 100,000 Hindus in a year. Mm. In 1399, Timur killed 100,000 captives in a single day, many more on other occasions. Mm. The conquest of Vijayanagar in 1565 left large areas of Karnataka depopulated, and so on. The American historian Will Durant summed it up as follows. The Islamic conquest of India is probably the bloodiest story in history. Mm. It's a discouraging tale, for its evident moral is that civilization is a precious good whose delicate complex of order and freedom, culture and peace, can at any moment be overthrown by barbarians invading from without or multiplying within. Yet these traumatic events of the past that pushed Hindu civilization to the brink of extinction don't find a place in the collective memory of the inheritors of this civilization. The credit for this goes to the negationism institutionalized by first the Indian National Congress, second the Aligarh Muslim University, and third the Marxist historians. The rewriting mm. of history textbooks began even before India attained independence. Congress supported the Khilafat movement with the aim of encouraging the Muslims to join the struggle for freedom. But their strategy backfired 
by further intensifying the separatist tendencies mm -hmm. among the Muslim community. At that time, Congress leaders were not yet actively involved in the rewriting of history. They were satisfied to quietly ignore the true history of Hindu-Muslim relations. After the communal riots of Kanpur 1931, a Congress report advised mm -hmm. the elimination of the enemy image by changing the contents of the history books. Subsequent generations of Congress leaders would profess negationism very explicitly. The second major source of negationism is Aligarh Muslim University, often described as the cradle of Pakistan. Unlike their more orthodox allies in the Deoband school, intellectuals of Aligarh found it difficult to reconcile their agenda of modernizing the Muslim community with the blood-stained history of Muslim rulers. Around 1920, Aligarh historian Mohammed Habib launched a grand project to rewrite the history of the Indian religious conflict. The main points of his version of history are as follows. One, trivializing the original accounts of Islamic chroniclers, describing the slaughter of Hindus, the abduction of their women and children, and the destruction of their places of worship, by calling these accounts as exaggerations. Two, downplaying the religious zeal of the conquerors by attributing the loot and plunder to economic motives. Three, bringing in the racial factor and portraying the barbarism of the conquerors as unrelated to the doctrines of Islam. Four, the violence of Islamic warriors was portrayed not to have played an important role in the establishment of Islam in India. These arguments cannot stand the test of historical criticism. We can demonstrate this with the example of Mahmoud Ghaznavi, who ravaged the lands of Gujarat, Sindh and Punjab. Ghaznavi was a Turk, yes, but certainly not a barbarian. He patronized the arts and literature and was a fine calligraphist himself. The barbarity of his campaigns cannot be attributed to his ethnic stock nor did he care for material gain. He left the rich mosques on his path untouched. He even turned down a Hindu offer to give back a famous idol in exchange of a huge ransom. Mm -hmm. I prefer to appear on Judgment Day as an idol breaker rather than an idol seller. The final boost to negationism was delivered by the Marxist historians who took over the reins of India's educational and research institutes and built a reputation for unscrupled history writing in accordance with the party line. They took negationism to a whole new level. For Marxists like Bipin Chandra, communalism is not a dinosaur, meaning that it is a strictly modern phenomenon. They explicitly denied that before the modern period, there existed such a thing as Hindu identity or Muslim identity. Even now, Negationism in India is practiced with the utmost prowess by historians and writers under the spell of Marxism. It would be wrong to expect that it will die a natural death because it has become a deeply entrenched bias and a thought habit for many people. Children usually survive their parents and negationism will survive Marxism for some time mm. unless a serious effort is made to expose it on a ground scale. Read more think critically, gather the courage to face the truth. Even the Upanishads say, Satya meva jayate, truth shall prevail. I am Kunrat Elst, for upward. Yeah, uh, I, I watch his videos on YouTube, the dude's really good. Now, let me just start in saying this. I am a Christian. I am an American patriot. I uh, believe in the Constitution. I am far right in my views, okay? And people seem to be mystified why my love for India. This is a good example of why. 
one, one of several examples of why. We are in this together. Listen, I am here on YouTube. Yes, we're going to have fun. Yes, we want to make videos that you watch. But we are here, you and I are here in struggle of a civilization. A civilization that you have, that I have, that is being erased, that is under attack. I'm not here necessarily to, to give you the stupidest reactions possible and make you laugh till like milk comes out your nose sometimes maybe that happens i don't know but I, i'm i'm not here for that i am here for the purpose of all i am here for the purpose of the greater good i am here to make sure that your kids grow up in the place that understands its culture that understands its history that understands the truth right we have things that are different than us I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't mind learning about Hinduism. It doesn't bother me at all. Every now and then we get the fascist that shows up in the comments that wants to hate me because of my beliefs. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Step off. This is the problem I have. My culture is sinking because of this, right? Your culture is under attack. I can't save mine. Maybe we can save yours. Maybe we can save yours, dude. Maybe right listen to the young cats out there that watch dude and we have a lot of young cats that watch uh wake up brah wake up dude hey listen if you're not pro india you're anti-india listen if you're not for india you're against her right and you need to start making decisions with your money man you need to start making decisions when that movie comes out and that dude is in the film yeah okay maybe he's dreamy and everybody likes his fight scenes but you know you know he's a crook you know that he hates you he hates hindus why are you seeing it dude don't go see it right don't go let's take it back bro let's take it back let's take it back let's take it back dude upward is awesome i love them i'll catch you guys later peace and much love I want to say all the people please subscribe movie community college God bless you brother keep it up you're making really really great video and please subscribe my CWV YouTube channel too God bless you Thanks for supporting the me. I love you. Your name really, really very Inuit, Inuit professor. <laughs>